Hello and welcome to the broadcast. Nothing Beast here with you on this Wednesday afternoon, this Wednesday evening, but more importantly, it is the 4th of May. So may the 4th be with you. <laughs> That was so stupid. It is May the 4th. <clears throat> I don't know, Star Wars Day. Ha 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 ha. Puns, dad jokes. It's very funny. And I'm done with it. <laughs> Hope you are having a uh, great evening. Um, I had uh, kind of an exciting uh, thing happen earlier today. I drove for the first time since moving to Australia. I've been in the country for over three years. Uh, moved here in uh, January of uh, 2019, and uh, so it's, you know, January, February, March, April, May. Uh, so uh, three years and four months at this point, and uh, I have not driven since then. Uh, about a week before uh, I was set to leave, I sold my car, and because uh, <clears throat> we were just selling everything. Uh, there was anything that wasn't coming with me, which is a very small pile uh, I had to be sold, and I had to time it out so that I wasn't leaving myself in the lurch. So about a week before I actually, uh, my flight was scheduled to leave, I had, uh, I, I didn't have a car. So a week before, my last week in the States, uh, I had, uh, everybody had to, uh, chauffeur me around. Well, I say everybody, it was my mom. Thanks, everybody, for stepping up during that time. <laughs> everybody else in the family uh, really appreciated uh, all the um, all the support and everything. You know, it's it's a minor detail. I'm only moving to the other side of the fucking world. <laughs> but, uh, eh. So, um, yeah, I haven't driven for uh, the longest damn time. And now I have to go from driving exclusively in the States to another country that is on the opposite side of everything. <clears throat> so uh, it, was, uh, it was interesting. I um, did a lot of just highway driving, where it's just one-way traffic, just to get my orientation down. Now let me tell you something. It's not as weird as I thought it was going to be, but it was still weird. There's just something about sitting and the door is here. You know, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just driving here, and it's like, I'm so used to putting my arm on the rolled down window and driving with my dominant hand. Can't do that now. Can't do that now, because now it's, yeah, I'm going to kill somebody doing that. So, driving, door is right up against here and everything. Gear shift over here uh, in the center column. And it's down here on the floor, so I have to use my left hand to shift from drive and everything. That's so weird. Um, knowing that I have to, you know, figure out where the line is in relation to my car, but it's on this side, not that side. And one of the things I kept noticing was my wife was there, and, you know, she was uh, just kind of making sure that everything was going all right. I felt like I was 16 years old again. I was like, okay, now we're going to be coming up on the roundabout now, and you want to slow down just a little bit. And remember, you uh, yield to any traffic coming from the right. Anything on the left, you have the right of way. <clears throat> and I'm, So I'm hitting this roundabout, and it's a double lane roundabout, and I'm just like, ugh. So, <laughs> so we go through the thing. And... Uh, my wife keeps telling me, okay, now it's, it's uh, slower down here. And I, at one point I was just like, where are you seeing all of these signs? I'm still, because, you know, 20 some years of driving, I'm still looking for the, the, the signs on the right side of the road. That ain't where they're at. <laughs> they're on the left side. You know, my rear view mirror is, I have to look to the left to look at my rear view mirror to see who's behind me. I, I drove the entire time with the uh, impression that there was no one behind me when there were plenty of cars behind me. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. It's just, you just drive so many, it's just that muscle memory, you know? I'm looking in the rear view mirror. No, it's over here now. Okay, I'm looking for the street signs. No, they're over here now. I'm trying to shift the gears. No, that's a door over there. 
<laughs> so it's it's uh, it's it's going to be interesting, but it it's not as terribly disorienting as I thought. Um, fortunately, where I live is kind of um, it's a small area. Uh, from my house to my job is mostly highway, so. I don't have to deal with like inner city driving and turns and everything. It's like once I hit the high, I just have to get through a couple of uh, roundabouts. I hit the highway and then I'm off. And then uh, I take a, an exit. That's where my job is. It's like literally the exit, slow down, turn, and I'm there. So it's, uh, you know, it's 20 minutes. So I, I, I was like in a month of doing that uh, a few shifts every single week, I, I'll, be, I'll be solid. But uh, yeah, he's learning to look at the signs and the rear view mirror and uh, looking over my blind spots. You know, I'm used to, oh, okay, looks good over there. Can't do that anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, enough of that. I'm not even going to do my shameless promotion. I'll do it at the end of the uh, episode. Yeah, nobody's watching my other channel anyway, so who fucking cares? Hey, there we go. G-Boy. Oh, I missed it. Uh, Gboy1836, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> that's, uh, that's very funny. Um, haven't even gotten to the video gaming yet, and I've already got another follow. Fantastic. Alrighty, let me... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why am I lost all of a sudden? Okay, let's get to the broadcast here. Alright, so we are going to be playing Lawn Mowing Simulator. I always forget. Yeah, Lawn Mowing Simulator, not Lawn Mower simulator lawn mowing simulator so give me one second here all right the only thing i don't like about this uh the only thing i don't like about this uh game really is this music you're hearing is the only song that you will ever hear while you're looking at the uh menus they don't play it when you're mowing the lawn but when you're there, and it gets old. It gets old really fast. So let's try to get through this really quick. We are starting a brand new lawn mowing company. So we're going to start with the company name. And I've already decided my name is going to be... Lamb of Sod. Get it? little death metal uh, pun there. So we got Lamb of Sod is our new company. All right, so then we're gonna pick our company logo. I like this one. Unfortunately, they don't give a lot of variety, but it's it's minimal. It's it's not like it's not like the Skyrim or anything like that. And you need every single thing uh, logged out and everything. All right, so we're gonna edit player player name. We're gonna play as Hank Hill. I tell you what. Whoa! <laughs> I sell propane and propane accessories, but Buck Strickland has gone tits up. <laughs> so I had to start my own company. And what do I know better than mowing lawns? So, Hank Hill. There we go. Alright, player avatar. Avatar 5 is the most hankiest of Hillist characters. All right, so now we got to change our uniforms. Uh, Hank Hill would be kind of conservative, so let's uh, let's do kind of the khaki hat logo placement, um, front and back, and then the uniform colors. That's eh, a little too bright. <clears throat> That's a little too dark. Ah, way too bright. That's not too bad. Alright, and then the accent color. I kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Alright, let's just see the primary color, just see if there's any variation. Actually, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice, uh, shirt. It won't show too much sweat. All right, let's see about the, uh, oh. I didn't mean to do that. Let's back up. There we go. Okay. I wanted to change the hat 
to kind of go along with maybe the accent just a little bit. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's that's kind of a nice little uh, nice little outfit. Definitely something you'd see working outside. Okay, uniform color, logo placement. All right. <clears throat> Company name: Lamb of Sod. Company logo, we got it. We've edited the player, and we will confirm. Are you happy with the, the company's setup? I am. Okay, so we have three thousand dollars startup money. Um. So we have to buy a lawnmower. So this is going to basically drain all of our resources. Um, and it'll leave us with 350 bucks, so we will. And that makes it so that the only thing that we can, uh, the only one of these uh, edge trimmers that we can afford is the knight. Honestly, I don't think the edge trimmer makes that much difference in this game. Yeah, it's nice to have uh, a cutting width, but this one, the Toro, is really as high as you really need it. But we can't afford that, so we gotta go with the knight. So now we have literally a hundred dollars left in the bank. So we start things off and we are on our way. <clears throat> but we're a small business and we only have one employee ourselves. So right now, not a lot of people are hiring because we don't have a lot of um, notoriety. So the only thing we have is the front garden, uh, the old nook cottage. So we're going to select that, we assign our employee, it's just us, pick our vehicle and our trimmer, and confirm. <clears throat> they added some DLC to this game, and I don't have it yet. I watched some of it, and I'm just like, yeah, that, I think the Dino Safari would be kind of cute, but I, I, I don't have it or the old England version yet. That's what they have out there. Um, I'm debating on getting it, but uh, it's a little pricey. <laughs> oh, and I should warn you, uh, the loading screens in this game uh, can be quite hefty. Now, it has been a while since I have played, so this first mowing job, I'm going to have to do a lot of remembering. So uh, just bear with me on this. If I run into a lot of garden gnomes and start taking out a lot of flowers, it's likely going to happen. Okay, so we are now at our client, and we have to mow. Our cut requirement, we have to get it 99%, which means you can't leave a lot of space, a lot of scrub. And uh, edging on this thing can be really a nightmare. We have to cut it between 5 and 6 centimeters. Uh, we have four minutes to run around the ground to check to see if there's anything that'll fall. I'm seeing a twig already right there, so um, you get bonus points if you can do that super fast. It says it should take 26 minutes to mow, um, but really it all depends on your equipment. Okay, so let's get to it. First things first. We're running around looking... Uh, for anything on the ground, we have five objects that we have to find. S sticks and rocks and stuff. That looks like uh, a, a pair of trimmers. Uh, ball, toys. Basically, if you run over that stuff, you'll uh, damage your equipment and you have to pay more to maintain it. It's not that big of a yard. What am I missing? Sometimes it's a it's just a matter of passing by the exact spot. Like sometimes you can see it from a distance, but sometimes you can't.
Oh, there, I think that's it. There it is. Yeah, it was just weird. Okay, so we still had two minutes and 30 seconds left, so we'll get a little bonus for that one. Okay, so now it's time to get on our mower. Start at the engine. All right, the cutting height. We have to click it up and down. It's all in the corner, way on the other side. So um, we have to do between five and six centimeters. I always go the highest. I'm gonna pause this so that we don't get a time bonus or time or anything. I always set it for the highest that my mower deck can handle because the more you lower it down, the more that your mower has to mulch through everything. So, you know, the lower you cut, the more grass it deals with and everything. So when you're bagging, more of it comes out. If you're mulching, it takes longer for it to mulch because you're actually cutting more grass, all that sort of stuff. So six centimeters. All right, and we gotta, oops, we gotta throttle up 3,000 RPMs. Right. Let me get a little, yeah. And this one is a rear turning. So this one, this one's gonna be real wiggy and weird. So first things first, let's line up our, line up a straight shot. All right, I like to tilt the camera a little higher so you can see the mowing deck. Set it over here. And um, there we go. Lower the mowing deck. Engage the blades. And we're off. One of the toughest parts about this job is getting up against the edge without getting too close to the flowers, but also getting all of the grass. And sometimes the trees get in the way of the camera. You want to try not to hit anything with your mower, like physically, because you'll get penalties. This game is very heavy on the penalties. It's not like it'll make a big difference, but early on, you kind of want every single dollar. Later on, you're a lot more free to make mistakes because it's not as costly. But right now we have like two, we have like a hundred dollars in the bank. And uh, every, every dollar counts at this point. So again, the toughest, the toughest part about this is getting your perimeter. Once you get past that, it's just a matter of overlapping your lines. And I know what, I know what you're probably thinking. This is the dumbest game in the world. I thought so too. But they put it up on Xbox uh, Game Pass, and I thought, I'll give it a try. I will, I will give it an honest try, and I fell in love with the game. <laughs> I couldn't believe how much I actually loved it. And we missed some grass back there, so that's going to cost us. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Slow it down. Ease off on the gas. Get as close as possible, don't hit just that camera a little bit. See, I can really go full throttle, but because I'm trying to get the edge, I'm trying to be real cautious. Oh, I am surprised I didn't get a uh, flower penalty there. All right, so we've made our first loop. Now we can do some damage. Now it's just a matter of overlapping ourselves. And we can go a little bit faster. And that grass in the archways, we'll come back and get that a little bit later. We can use the uh, edge trimmer to kind of get some of that. So up in the corner there, we have our progress bar. We're at 15%. We have to get that thing to 99% or we can't finish the job. Or rather, I think we can, but we get a penalty. We get bonuses if we finish early. Uh, you get bonuses for uh, not uh, causing any damage. 
uh, bonuses for finishing the uh, the yard check before your time runs out. So little things here and there kind of make the difference if you do make mistakes. So it's not like a hugely punishing sort of game, but it can be a little finicky. One of the, uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm not too worried about it as long as we just get as much as we can. Later on in the game, we'll be able to unlock and purchase uh, bigger lawn mowers, and they'll have wider uh, mowing decks, and the jobs will go super fast. And then we'll get bigger jobs. But for now, we're just a fledgling little company. We don't even have the ability to hire employees. You have to get better notoriety. When this game first came out uh, on the Game Pass, it was only, you could only play it through the cloud. And that was okay, but um, every once in a while it would wig out, and it's a game that kind of requires a little bit of precision. And when it would sketch out on you, you'd miss some stuff, and it made it a little more difficult than it needed to be. But the other thing that you do have to watch out for, oh, you can see this little, there's this little edge, this little extra bit of grass here. We did miss it, so I'm going to cut a little bit closer and try to pick some of that up. It's easier, it's easier to pick that up when you see that, and you may not, you may not have seen it, but you do get an eye for some of this stuff. Like if you cut a corner too close, your mower deck leaves like little tiny pieces of grass, and this game can be an annoying pain in the ass when when you get all the way done with the lawn and you need like one-tenth of one percent to finish, that's where the annoyance comes in with this game. But basically the way this works is your mower deck, as long as you keep the overlap between those two wheels, you should be able to pick it all up. kind of follow that. Yeah, see there was a little bit of grass here. I'm going to back up a little bit. When you make the turns, oh yeah, and then that's the other thing. When you make really sharp turns, uh, you have to be careful because your mower will dig into the grass and damage the lawn. So when you have to make like a U-turn or something, you have to be real careful because you'll get a penalty for damaging the lawn. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm talking about all these penalties and all these things that this game will throw at you, but it's really a relaxing, zen sort of game. I, I enjoy this game a lot. You know, there'll be times that I'll be, I'm just wanting to relax, and oh my god, this game, this game is great in that sense. You just, you just take your time, there's no stress. You know, you can do better, you can do worse, but ultimately, the game is pretty forgiving. So what I do is, I'll turn it on, and since there's no music, it's just the lawnmower, I'll usually turn on some music. This is a great game to play some music or listen to your podcasts. I'm actually falling behind on my podcasts uh, because I'm doing so much where I can't multitask that way. I do, uh, with my video reviews, I do a lot of script work, and I can't, I can't listen to other things while I'm trying to write and be creative, so I'm, I'm falling very much behind on my podcast. I say podcasts, but really, it's just Bill Burr's, that's all. I just listen to Bill Burr's Monday morning podcast. I love the guy, I think he's hilarious. Um, but I, I, it's been a while. I haven't, I haven't listened to a few of them, so I've got several of them I need to do. Sometimes I'll listen to him when I'm doing dishes <laughs> or cleaning up the kitchen. He's, he's a great thing to turn on when I'm doing housework. Okay, back to the game though. Other than, other than that, the one thing you have to be careful of, and it's not so much this one, but later on you'll run into it. This is, this is, they, they throw easy lawns at you just so that you can get some good practice. But um, 
there, there comes time where it's raining and the ground is muddy and the grass is wet and the it bogs down your engine and it's so annoying. So you have to slow down on your throttle and you just have to take it easy. Okay, so I'm gonna do some edging here since I've already hit this point. Just so that I don't have to do it later on. I may have missed some stuff on the edge there, but now that that's done, we'll just get back to the regular. But uh, there comes a time when in the game where you have to slow down because your uh, mower heads are having trouble keeping up with the grass. When it's wet, it's clumpy, and it doesn't process as easily, so you have to slow down. Also, it's muddy. You're not gaining as much traction, so you have to be careful or you're not going to... Uh, you're not going to see like this turning really sharp like that. I'm taking a chance. You have to be real careful with that. Sometimes it's better to overshoot and come back at it from a wider angle. This is not a great mower, but it's all we can afford. Later on, you get some zero turn radius motor mowers, and they're fucking awesome. And that's such a dad thing to say. This mower is fucking awesome. <laughs> All right, so we're going to reverse, but you want to be real careful when reversing. With this mower, it's better to steer first and then engage. Just like that. Okay, so that section's pretty much done. We're going to take a little bit of this here. And try not to hit the wall. and the cows move in the distance. We're out in farm country. Okay, a couple of swipes there. Ah, I tagged it, but I don't know if that's hard enough to have caused any damage. All right. So this section's pretty much done. We're up to 71%. So now we'll come back here and get back into this. Now, a lot of times when it starts getting, like, thin like this, I'll just, I'll just cut through like this and just square this section off. And it's like, okay, now we'll do this section. And then I try to do it in pieces as I go along. Sometimes, it's, it, sometimes it feels like you're doing it faster by doing that. As opposed to just keep doing circle around the entire lot. Sometimes just doing, once you get to where it's really thin and finagly, you just want to kind of take care of it right here. So like that's a little too wide. I uh, may have missed a little bit. Of... No, I think I got it. There's actually a um, that. You have this little thing that, but you can only do it when you're at a stop. So there is a little bit here that I did miss. And that adds up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, hit that again. Yeah. See now, it'll it'll show the grass that hasn't been mowed. So as you can see, that little that little flower patch, the little white around that, all of that stuff adds up so much. So if you have to get it to 99%, you'll get it to 98.9%, .9 and then you'll be like, okay, where's enough grass to get one tenth of one percent? It can be so irritating if you're not careful. Alright, let's just go ahead. And... Sometimes it's like you can get closer than you think you can. Alright, so let's take a look at what we just did. But you see there's just a little bit of white grass there. And that, we'll get there. Hello, our signs! You are here just in time to see me finish this job. We're up to 78%. we got to get to 99%. I was wondering if any of my regulars were going to come by for this one. I was a little nervous trying this one, because it's not exactly a thrill a minute. <laughs> this one... This is such a weird game 
in the sense that it is so much fun. It, it's, it's a lot more fun than it has any right being. I mean, I think so. But, as I was saying earlier, this game, you really get the chance to zone out and just relax. To me, this is, this is a great uh, stress reliever. For, you know, when it's been a rough day, I'll put this game on and I'm just like, oh, zen, zen. <laughs> I have never used a riding lawnmower. Even when I was a kid, my dad and I would have to uh, do the acreage that we had of all the property, but we did it with a push mower. I hated it, but at least we had two people on push mowers. All right, so we'll slow down here. Try to get as close to that edge as possible without taking out the flowers. It's a lot easier to do the edging when you have a bigger mower because you don't have to get so close. Because right now I feel like I am riding right over all those flowers. And I really like to not get penalties at the beginning. Again, I'm... Yeah. It's... The game is fun. Um, if you have the Xbox, it's on the Xbox uh, Game Pass. So you can play it for free. That's what I'm doing right now. But I'm actually considering buying this because it's such a fun game. But it's so it's so low stress, you know? You play so many games and it's just so stressful. But this one, oh my god, you just put it on, the droning of the lawnmower, it's just the white noise machine that I need. And it's, it's just a relaxing game. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, so sometimes you'll see things like, I don't know if you can see it on my screen, but there's little things that's like your little tire track, and sometimes that looks like grass that you missed. All right, so we're going to take an easy turn. When you have these turning lawnmowers, you want to be careful not to turn too sharp, because it will dig into the ground, and you get a penalty. <laughs> and since I like doing it, and since I was a ghost millionaire, I just mowed those lawns for free. <laughs> Not time would be very lonely. I would think of Jenny again. <laughs> Don't get me started on Forrest Gump. <laughs> I will do that whole damn movie. At one point, I had the first half hour word for word memorized. It's been a long time since I've done it. But literally, starting from the beginning, all parts, everything, for the first half hour. <laughs> Mama says they take me anywhere. They was my magic shows. <laughs> I love that movie. It's a, it's a great movie. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you specifically. Do not read the book that it's based on. Do not read it. That is a garbage book that turned into a wonderful movie. The book is nothing like the movie turned out. Oh, you know, okay. <laughs> that movie is terrible. Or, I mean, the book. The book is just awful. All right, what are we up to? 96%. All right. Let's get this chunk done, and then we'll see if we have to break out the edge or... <laughs> So, in America, we call them weed whackers and edgers and everything, you know, handheld trimmers. You know what they call them here in Australia? Whippersnippers. Whippersnippers. Isn't that fucking awesome? That's so Aussie. Whippersnippers. I love it. I was talking to my neighbor, and uh, he came over when he saw I was having trouble with the edging and everything, because the grass here has, like, these creeper vines that... Uh, are really hard to cut with the regular line trimmer. So he comes over and he's like, oh yeah, see you having a little bit of trouble there. I'm just like, yeah, this is some creeping shit that we don't even have in the southern states. And he's like, oh yeah, you gotta have yourself an edge yet. And I said, wasn't well, that what I have here? He's like, no, you got yourself a whippersnipper. Need yourself to get an edge yet. 
Okay, so we, we actually got the contract done without finishing this little strip here. So we did a good enough job. And uh, I, love, I love when the Aussies come up and, and want to chat with me. They're so helpful. I'm so not used to that. I'm so used to the American douchebaggery where we're all just at each other's throats. But I'll just be out there and my neighbor just comes up there and he, he just brings this giant machine. I'm going to pause it for a second. He just brings this giant... It looks like it looks like something that you would be using to till up the garden, but it's got this blade on it. It's not even a blade. It's just a metal a piece of metal that's just square and it just spins. It doesn't even have an edge to it. It's just to chop up these creeper vines that go through the grass and crawl over the edge of the sidewalk and everything. I got to get me one cuz it just rips this stuff to pieces and it's so nice. But it's just the grass will just keep creeping and edging and it's so low to the ground the lawnmower will not get it. It just it just has these long vines that are like a pencil width and oh my god. It's like uh I don't even know if creeping fescue is the same thing, but they just get these long runners that go out there and they just have these little piddly little, you know, grass growths on them all. So he comes over and he's just <laughs> running down my sidewalk and everything and I'm just like now let me top you off with some gas. He's like, oh, it's all right. Don't need it. And I'm just like, I've got the gas can right here. At least let me pay you back with what you use. And he's like, ah, oh, this thing didn't use anything. <laughs> you know what? I wish it was crabgrass. No, no. This stuff, it's vines. And it's just the grass. It's that sandy grass that you have to grow here. You can't take like... it's Exactly. It's not like... Um, it's not like, uh, um, what's this stuff like, uh, Kentucky bluegrass and, and, you know, all those, all those nice little, uh, you know, grasses and everything. Yeah, the grass exists, but it just has these creeping vines all through it. Normally, you don't notice it, but on the edges, they crawl over the sidewalks and the yards and, and, and the lawn, uh, 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 the driveway and everything, and it'll be like your sidewalk looks your sidewalk is nice and square and then eventually it gets narrower and narrower and narrower and narrower and then eventually you look like the shittiest block uh the shittiest house on the block <laughs> all right so here's the thing about this game even though we are done with the contract i'm still gonna pick up this last little bit just right there i don't know if it makes a difference but I want to. Because for me, now, now the job is done. Okay, so now we turn off the head. And let's see. Um, oops. Whoops. Okay, that's the throttle. I forget my buttons here. Give me just one second. Um... Okay, so the cutter head is not, so the head is not engaged. Oh my God, you were like one of the very few people who watched that. What did you think of that? Was that terrible or what? So now that the contract is officially complete, we just take our machine, load it back up. Throttle it down and turn it off all right and then um oh, i forget all of my buttons i think i have whoop no nope, i don't want to do that uh is it a b if you want to get off of for real no it's not y nope that starts the engine there we go there we go all right, so then we'll leave the location. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my God, that I don't know what that was. That's why I just said, I don't know what this part is. I'm just going to let it play. I don't know if he was singing a song that I'm just not familiar with. That part was just crazy. <laughs> oh, that nasty flank steak that he had with the onions and the just slathered in ketchup. Yeah, that was awful. That whole movie was just a head-scratcher. Okay, so we're done now. 
So the ground check time bonus, we get $4.53 for that. The ground check earnings, we get $20 for that. Value, uh, let's see, cutting time bonus. Because we finished early, we got a $12.37 bonus. Uh, valuables recovered, there were none. Sometimes you go to a place and there'll be a valuable, and if you collect it, um, you basically it, it automatically returns it to the owner, and you get a reward for finding stuff like that. I've seen things like um, jewelry, uh, things like that, but you gotta get to some ritzy uh, sort of areas. Then we get to our penalties and fines. We got $2.75, I know it's in pounds, but I'm just going to keep saying dollars. $2.75 for collisions. Remember earlier when I grazed something? Yeah, I got $2.75 uh, for that. Uh, so the job was supposed to pay $275. We actually ended up with more, $309.15. So fantastic. So, uh, and we just got ourselves another follower, uh, 0203 Brett. Thank you so much for the follow. I do like that jazzy little tune that it plays when it goes there. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, I do have a, a, a timer on that so that uh, it takes a little bit of time if you want to uh, participate in the chat. Hang out for just a bit. I only do that because um, of all the scammers that pop in. They want to pop in, put their commercial up on my chat, and I try to discourage that. So please stick around and join the chat later on. Um, okay, so uh, overall, we did a good job on that. And our down below where it says the overview, our contract, that's our reputation. Instead of experience points, you get reputation points. So you get the reputation, and as your reputation grows, your company does too. And then you get to be, you get the ability to hire new people, hire employees, and and uh, grow and advertise. So, all right, we're done with this. Let's move on. Okay, so uh, we can upgrade our building, but we don't have enough. Our current headquarters, we only have room for one mower. So if we want to expand our business, we're going to have to buy a new place. But we don't have any funds for that, so we're not even thinking about that. Uh, so what we need to do... Oh yeah, purchasing HQ. So we can also buy new buildings, but they are hefty. Like, the next one up is 160000 And I can take out bank loans, but I really don't like doing that. So let's back out of that. Okay, so... Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, that's right. That's what I need to do. Okay, so one thing that's good to do from time to time is to take a look at your uh, your equipment. That's my mower. The vehicle and engine are pretty good. The blade has taken a little bit of damage. The petrol tank, the gas tank, uh, is uh, about a third empty. So we're going to go into it and do some maintenance. Uh, we'll fill up the tank. Uh, a full refuel is $2.55. Not terrible. But now it's full of gas. It's better to do that here while you're in between jobs than to do it on site. Uh, and the blades, let's just go ahead and do the full repair because it's only $2.75. That's where the bonuses come in. So that little stuff that you do, that little extra, that's where your bonus money goes to maintain things. You'd rather that not eat into your uh, eat into your uh, profits, or you can just go and do the full repair and everything. So yeah, okay. So everything's good to go. So we're gonna back out of it. Uh, let's see. Is there a part exchange? No. Okay, so uh, one thing that you can do is you can exchange your vehicles to get a discount on future vehicles. But right now, we have the highest level one that we can get. Let me tell you something. You start getting up to uh, some of these later ones. Oh, look at it. Look at it. This thing will destroy grass so fast. The only downside to having something like this is uh, you can't do it on smaller jobs because you'll just be running over everything. And the, but these things got some friggin' horsepower. It's gonna be a while before you can get some of those, though, because that thing's $38,000. <laughs> Alright, so let's get out of here. 
and uh, we'll go back and uh, we'll take a look at our next job. Uh, again, our reputation's not that great, and that's what we have to do better with. We have to get a reputation going so people know about us. Right now, we only have one job available, and that's the uh, Kingsbury House. It's a $345 uh, value and 75 uh, reputation points, the 75 RP. So let's go ahead and select that. We assign our employee. This stuff is a lot more important when you start having multiple employees, but uh, vehicle and equipment. And we'll confirm and we'll start the day. Later on, you get the ability to have like four employees with you. And then you have to deal with things like sick leave and uh, people taking vacation time. And uh, some of that's kind of annoying, but what's nice is you can assign people to do a job and depending on their skill level, they'll complete it uh, to a certain degree of uh, perfect or not. Anytime you, anytime you assign someone, they never do it as good as I can do it personally, but sometimes I like giving them the giant jobs that are, you know, like a thousand dollar, like a thousand dollars or something, and then they come back with like 998. And I'm like, okay, you lost a couple of dollars because you didn't slow down, but whatever. They'll do that, and then I'll go to the park and pick up trash. Which is something that does actually happen. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the Kingsbury House. It's a lovely estate. Lots of, uh, lots of grass to mow. See, now this one we need to do 99.5%, so it's a little higher than what we have. Already you can see the, the uh, items that you need to pick up that'll damage your mower. Um, so yeah, a couple of things right next to the gazebo. Uh, we got four minutes to check it, so let's go ahead. It's The, the, the properties in this are very lovely. And uh, I look at I look at a lot of these things, and I'm just like, I would actually like to uh, like to do a job like this, and actually actually try this. I I feel like I could handle a job like this, but this one has a lot of curves and and angles and everything, so this one can be a little tricky. So let's jump into it. And first things first, let's oh there we go, got some rocks right there. Uh, how many do we have? We got four objects. Okay, so we got the uh, trimmers there, some lazy uh, groundskeeper, not doing a very good job. The dog's frisbee, and and again, if you do this super, oh, there we go, and a stick. All right, so we did it in 20 seconds. We should get a nice little uh, bonus couple of bucks for that. All right, so get on the vehicle. Mo. <laughs> Throttle it up. Okay, um, and again, it's very important to pay attention to the cut height range. If you don't cut the lawn at the at the level that they ask for, and this one's like between six and seven centimeters, but some of them get very particular. Um, if you are not within that range, the game will warn you, and you'll have to go back and mow it a second time if if you don't catch it right away. So it's between six and seven. So I always set it for the highest that we can, seven centimeters. Drive on down here and get over here to start our edge. All right. Lower our mowing deck. Engage the blades. And gently into the fray. When you get these big properties like this one, it's very tricky because they have so many flower beds and so many curves. So your first pass through to get the border can be very tricky. But you just, just kind of slow down, take your time. The time penalties in this game are really not that bad. Yeah, it's nice to finish early because the faster you do a job, the faster you can get on to the next one. But sometimes, it's just better to just enjoy the job as you're there. Just get as close to that edge as you can. I have had jobs where I've just gotten frustrated with the way the mower was running, and I just started running over flowers left and right. It's really not the end of the world if you do that. This game can be very forgiving in the amount of, you know, finicky little details that it has. But if you hit a flower, it will tell you. So it's not like, oh, did I hit that flower? Did I not? No, it will tell you. 
and it'll be like penalty incurred flower hit or something like that. So. But it's really important to get as close to the edge as you can here because this, the edging is where all of the extra grass that you missed, you'll usually find. Okay, so we've already made one loop around. All right, nice. Okay, so that's kind of the difficult part right there. And it's not really difficult, that's just the tricky part. Now we can just go full throttle. Just keep an eye on your RPMs, keep an eye on your speed. If the, uh, down there in the corner, it's got the, um, it's got the uh, speedometer. If your speedometer goes into the red, you're gonna have to slow down. Uh, a lot of times that happens when you're on an incline uh, or if you're in a low area where you're not getting a lot of traction. So you need to just kind of slow down and just kind of chug your way through. But this is basically the entire game, really, more or less. Later on you get some minor management details but and training issues, but it's, uh, it's really a peaceful nice, easy little game. Like I said, I just, sometimes I just, I, I just have a rough day, and I don't want to play Dead by Daylight, and get pissed off even more. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just mow along. Should I be mowing the lawn in reality? Yes. But, nah, that comes with blisters, and loud noise, shakes my hands, I don't like it. <laughs> Let me just mow the digital grass. And there's really no wrong way about doing this. You know, uh, some I've seen some people, they go through and they take care of all the obstacles first. You know, like they'll go to the flower beds and they'll do all the edging up front. I just like to do a big sweep around the perimeter and then take it piece by piece as it goes along. Now sometimes you'll be driving along and uh, you won't be going in an exact straight line, so you do have to kind of jiggle the joystick a little bit. Just little tiny oversteers and corrections. because you'll just be driving along and then like the, uh, the slope of the lawn will affect how you uh, are steering. And uh, you just have to kind of, you know, make minor corrections. Um, sometimes when you get some of the bigger jobs, it'll, uh, uh, you'll, you'll be doing some parts later on and uh, the inclines and everything can get really, uh, really steep. And uh, depending on how you drive on them, it can make a big difference. So since this part's getting a little, uh, little slim, I'm just going to kind of cut through it and just go ahead and take care of this little swath here. And I I find that um, sometimes these these odd shaped areas can be tricky to get. But as long as, as long as your mower is hitting new grass every time you pass by, you usually do fine. Just be careful trying to pick up some of these. Sometimes it's better to back all the way up and just take this last little swipe all in one go. And then you just jump right back into the main part and off you go. Edge into it, keep your corners nice and tight. Go ahead and take this edge here. I'm going a little fast, but I'm getting overconfident. That's the other thing in this game. You get a little overconfident, and then next thing you know, <laughs> you've taken out Miss Begonia's uh, flower patch. <laughs> Harold, Harold, did you see the lawnmower went through my prized Begonia patch? Margaret, will you please shut the fuck up? I'm trying to watch my porn. 
That's what I believe rich people talk like. <laughs> or at least the people who are rich enough to hire someone to mow their lawn. I don't think I'll ever be that rich. I don't know if I would ever want to be that rich. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you own a piece of property that's so big that you yourself can't maintain it. I don't know. I've got a very small plot here. The house takes up the majority of what I have, but I've got a lot of paving stones and, uh, you know, rock garden and everything. And that's, that takes a little bit of effort to maintain. But um, I have a small patch of grass in the front yard. I've got a small patch of grass in the backyard. Mowing takes me about, if it's not like overgrown because it's been raining a lot, um, usually if I'm on top of it, it'll take about oh, 20 minutes for the front, maybe half an hour in the back. Less than an hour. And that counts like, you know, the, the lawnmower maintenance, checking the oil and filling it up with gas and making sure everything's all good to go. Even the edging, the, the whole job, less than an hour. And uh, I like that. My first house was very small, but it was on a uh, just shy of half an acre. And it seemed like it took all day to mow that goddamn yard. Okay, so I'm going to back up and I'm going to get that glass little bit that was right along the sidewalk. So that when I come back through and get this section, I can just stick to this side. In fact, I'll just go ahead and take care of some of this. So I remember where my line is. Oh, uh, 203 Brett, good to have you along for the conversation. Yeah, <laughs> is it a 10 minute? Yeah, I uh, yeah I hate doing that. Um, but uh, there for a while I was having so many of the um, uh, the scammers and the you know commercials coming in, they'd pop in, leave their message, and they wouldn't even give me any watch time, and I'm like, nah. So, I'm glad to see you stick around for the 10 minutes. How are you doing today? Always good to see some uh, new followers, new, uh, new watchers and everything. Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised I'm getting as much traffic as I am on this one. I've already got a couple of new followers just for mowing lawns. <laughs> I just want to pl I just play the games I think are fun, and <laughs> and uh, some of the games I think, oh, this will this might generate some traffic. And then this one, I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna mow some lawns and talk to myself. Oh no, I got some viewers. <laughs> so, but yeah, glad to have you along. I. Uh, during the intro, I was talking about how uh, I was very excited because uh, I've been living in uh, Australia for... Oh, wait a second. You just bought this game late last night. And... Oh, yeah. You know, it's so weird. Sometimes it, you, don't, you don't see what games come to what, uh, what systems. So, But it's a lot of fun. It's weird how much fun this game can actually be. But uh, like I said, oh, 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 there, did you see that? Did you see how my uh, miles per hour went into the red? Got to be careful when that happens. Sometimes it happens momentarily. Sometimes it happens and sticks around. But when it goes into the red, that means that your engine's bogged down and it's having trouble dealing with either the mulch of the grass or traction. Either way, it's not mowing efficiently. So you got to be careful about that. Sometimes you have to go back and mow the area twice. There, so let's whip a U-turn here. I'm gonna actually cut this one here and square this up a bit. The only reason I'm handling this as well as I am is because I've actually put a lot of hours into this game. I just wanted to start from scratch. It's been a while since I played, but being able to whip that turn like that, it, it, I, it took me a lot of practice, actually. But I do miss my uh, later on, uh, later on when I get some zero turn radius mowers. Oh, nice. I um, I never I never got the peripherals or anything like that. I just I just stick with the uh, the controllers. Um, 
but uh, yeah, doing this with the uh, with the uh, steering wheel and uh, setting it for that could be fun. But uh, I like I like looking at it from this perspective, so I can get uh, a, a bird's eye view of the edge of the motors. <laughs> and I do love the uh, the sound effects that come up. Every once in a while, the cows will move. And they'll be loud enough when you're passing by the paddocks and, and uh, where they're all being stored and everything. You hear the dogs barking, the children playing. Every once in a while, there are some people who actually walk by the properties on the sidewalks. But um, most of the game is literally looking at the lawn. <laughs> but uh, I, I got to give credit to the, uh, the, the design team. They did a really good job of making uh, some very nice uh, properties. You know, it doesn't look it doesn't look like cheap. You know what I mean? Like like sometimes an indie title will kind of cut corners because it's about the gameplay as opposed to what it looks like. But in this one, you know, I think Gazebo's got some detail work. You know. The flowers are, you know, kind of basic, but when you get close to them, they kind of look nice. You know, let me just kind of swing around here. I mean, you can kind of tell, you know, that it's, it's a basic, you know, stick plant sort of thing. But, you know, overall, it's, it's, it's got a nice enough design. It does, it, it does the job well enough. I want the Power Wash game so bad. I don't know if it's on the Xbox. I keep forgetting to look it up, but I, I, watched, uh, the, I watched Game Grumps do the power wash, and I was like, I want that game. <laughs> and uh, I used to do the, uh, I used to do the, uh, the farming simulator, um, I think, I don't remember what year I actually bought, and, and I liked it, but then I, I tried playing a more recent one, and I didn't, I didn't like it. Like, there was just something about it that didn't catch me just right. And uh, I didn't get into it. It was it's just something I didn't, didn't want to. Oh, your PC wouldn't run this one? That's weird. Yeah, see, that's one reason why I, I stick to consoles. Um, you may not get, like, the mods and all the extra stuff like that. Um, but... When I buy a game for the Xbox, it works. Or, at the very least, it works well enough. I used to, uh, I used to do uh, PC gaming, you know, 20 years ago when I was in college. <laughs> and uh, my, I, got, I, I, I would get so tired of buying a game that should work for my, for my system that would, wouldn't work for my system. And I was like, eh, I, I'm, I'm getting too old to keep uh, constantly upgrading my computer so that it can play the newest version of a game that it should have no problem playing. And I know uh, computers uh, have gotten a lot a lot more user-friendly towards that, and I'm still just not interested. It's like, eh, what I get for a trade-off, I don't feel it's worth the effort. So my, my computers and everything, I just use for work, video editing and stuff like that. If I want to play games, I'll play on, uh, on, on consoles. Because the game was made to run on the console. I don't have to upgrade the console. And, you know, if people have the time and patience and the ability to do that, more power to them. I'm not saying that, uh, oh, I'm, I'm better. <laughs> I, don't get into the, I don't get into the console wars anymore. <laughs> I did that with Nintendo and Sega back in the 90s, and I'm, that, that was enough. <laughs> All right, so ultimately this job, we have to get to 95 or 99.5, and we're up to 76%. So we're, we're getting there, but there's a lot of grass still to come. Let me take a look at this real quick, uh, the conditions. 
I'll recommend it finish time. Okay, so they're giving me 30 minutes to do this job, but I'm up to 16 and I'm already, you know, three quarters done. So I think I'll be able to finish this job early. And early finish means extra, extra bonus money. Oh, what time is it where you're at? <laughs> Kappa, I'm guessing that, that I'm guessing that means you're British. Or Manchester. Oh, okay, very nice. I'm actually uh, Australia here. It's seven o'clock at night. <laughs> Well, Wednesday. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Well, he doesn't sound like an Aussie. Nope, sure not. <laughs> so when you say cuppa, are you talking tea or coffee? And if so, what kind of tea? Earl Grey? I like a good Roy Boss myself. Actually, I take that back. I love a cup of Roy Boss. Just normal tea. <laughs> here in here in uh, uh, Australia, I believe that would be the English breakfast tea. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, three sugars. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I um. I used to be a coffee fanatic, and I had to give it up for a while because I was working a job that was very stressful, and it was really affecting my health. But um, once I got done with all that, I, um, I I was able to go back to coffee. But uh, I use the uh, I'm gonna pause it just for a second. I use the coffee pods, the Nes the Nestle coffee pods. I like those. Uh, really well. Um, here in Australia, they're, they have a coffee that's known as flat white, which is basically a coffee with creamer and a little bit of sugar. I usually, uh, usually if I go to a barista, I'll, uh, I'll say, uh, give me a flat white with two sugars. Um, but uh, yeah, I, if, if I was in America drinking like black coffee, it would be um, filled with uh, creamer and sugar. So a flat white's pretty much how I take it. Um, all right, let's go the opposite direction here. Easy there, easy thunder. Get up on that edge, but let's not take any flowers because we're doing a really good job of avoiding those flowers. Okay. Yeah, and that's the other thing, the coffee pods, I can get the cappuccino and everything. Um, and uh, it's all measured out, it's all ready to go. All I do is I put the pot in, turn on the machine, and it just filters water through it, and that's all. Oh god, that was, my grandma and my mom could drink black coffee. I, the only thing that I liked black coffee for was dunking cookies. <laughs> I would take like the Chips Ahoy and uh, dunk them in black coffee. That was it. So I would basically have coffee flavored cookies. I can't drink black coffee. Can't stand it. I <laughs> I always like to say I like my coffee like I like Beyonce. <laughs> I don't think that's racist. I like I, I like Beyonce just fine, but that's 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 what I like my coffee. <laughs> but uh, when I use the coffee pods. It, uh, it just does it all for me. I don't have to mix in the sugar or the creamer or anything like that. And, um, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a few different varieties that they come with. Um, actually, the uh, other day I was at the grocery store and they had a uh, major sale on uh, espresso. So I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. By itself, the espresso is pretty rough. But what I do is I'll, since the espresso is just a small amount of coffee, I'll put the espresso and the flat white in the same, in the same cup, and it, uh, it kind of balances each other out. Like, the flat white makes the, uh, uh, espresso way more, you know, sweet and, uh, lighter. 
but it also gives it just a little bit more coffee bite. So it's like, if I need something a little stronger, that's what I do. All right, let's, we're gonna square this up a little bit and take care of this other side. Pick up the slop that we missed. And then we're gonna take this edge of the gazebo, easy with the flower, oh my God. I can't believe I didn't get a penalty for that. That was so close. Oh, let me see here. Is there a way here you can see what you have? Yes, there is, let me show you. When you are at a stop, you hold down the thumbstick. But it won't do that while you are moving. So if you're on an edge or something, like, it's hard to see, but if you look all the way back at the flower bed, you can see just a little bit of white flashing. So there's just a little bit over there. But as soon as you start back up, let me get my uh, camera back around. But as soon as you start back up, it goes away. Which I think is fair. You shouldn't need the uh, training wheels when you are... Um, when you're moving. But um, if you're not careful, the biggest problem that I have with the, well, it's not a problem with the game, but the biggest issue that I have sometimes is when you're mowing, sometimes you need, it, you'll get like one tenth. Yeah, exactly. From what I saw from the power wash, it seems like it's very uh, finagly. It seems like it's, it, 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 it can be very picky. On this one, I've gotten jobs where I've, I just need one-tenth of one percent, and I can't get it because of all... It's just a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit there. And by the time it's all done, it's it's just... I'm driving myself crazy just looking for a big enough grass patch that will count. And, you know, it's like... I. It, the problem is, is it's like I'm doing too good of a job, and I'm leaving so little of it. So now we're getting to the point where it's like really long, but you want to be really careful when you do these like U-turns and everything, because you can damage the, uh, the ground and leave like tire tracks. All right, so we need two tenths of a percent still. Oh, sure, you don't let me stop yet. <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. We hit our percentage completely. And we still have that little swipe left to do. I just, I like finishing the job. I don't know if you get bonus points for that exactly, but ah, it's just that last little bit and we're done. Okay, so we're going to turn off the head. And whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Get on the vehicle. Is the mowing head up? Oh, hey, our signs. I figured you probably just uh, had to step away for a little bit. And no problems. I know you're here in spirit. And that's good enough for me. <laughs> All right, so park the engine. Whoops, didn't mean to engage the blades. There's the lower deck. Okay, now um, since we're done with the uh, the job, uh, I'll show I'll show uh, the string trimmer. Okay, the string trimmer can be a pain in the ass. Okay, welcome back, Brett. I was actually the job is done, so I'm not getting any more time penalties. I just wanted to kind of show the uh, edge trimmer. This thing can be really hard to gauge but I don't really have any grass to cut. Let me, uh, let me actually, okay, there it is. Okay, so there's just a little bit over here. So you just kinda get, you just gotta get close. And you hear a little zip, 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 zip. But see how much that didn't take?
Sometimes the edger is a real pain. Okay, so we got that. And then there's just that little swatch right there. But we don't have to get that. We've already completed the job. But anyway, that's, that's how the edger goes. I hate using the edger. Sometimes it's it, you'll have a job where um, doing the uh, edging first is a good idea. All right, so let's take a look at our magnificent yard. Oh, it's so lovely. But you see the little tire tracks that we leave doing those turns. You don't get a penalty for those, but that's kind of showing you just how the grass lays down. The grass physics in this are actually kind of neat. Later on in the game, you actually get uh, some jobs where you have to do um, striping. Like, um, if you've ever seen, like, a professional uh, lawn where it looks like one, there's, like, a stripe and the grass is, like, two different tones, they'll actually, they actually uh, have attachments that you can do that and do that as a job later on. You're not really mowing, you're just uh, striping the property. So, okay, let's see how well we did. Now we're finished. No, I haven't. Is it any fun? It looks like... I don't know. There's something about it when I watch it. It doesn't seem to grab me just right away. But it, I've, I've considered maybe picking it up when it goes on sale. Okay, so let's take a look at what we had. Uh, penalties and fines. Hey, we only got 50 cents worth of fines. That's pretty good. The property value uh, was valued at 325. We walked away with 361. So we got 40, uh, what was that? 40, yeah, 40, not quite 40, 36. $36 extra. So that's pretty good. Garden flipper. <laughs> I might have to look into that one. I don't do a lot of simulation games. Um, but some of them, sometimes they'll catch me just right. Like this one, I was surprised at how much fun I had with this one. But I probably wouldn't have tried it if it wasn't for it being on Game Pass and being able to play it for basically free. Okay, so our ground check time, because it only took us uh, like 20 seconds, we got $6.62. Uh, the ground check earnings, $20. $20. Cutting time bonus, because we did it super fast, $10 extra, $10.37. So yeah, we did really good. Used almost uh, a little more than a third of our tank of fuel. So, but fortunately that's just a couple of bucks. Again, the ground check time should take care of all of our upgrades, not our upgrades, but our uh, maintenance. You know, 1220 for this game, I would say would be worth it. If I ever see it on sale, I'll probably buy it and the DLC. So, okay, uh, and then our uh, contract down below, is, oh, right there, uh, at the bottom of the screen, that's our, uh, that's our reputation, and uh, so we have gone up in reputation. Newcomer, rank two. No DLC on PS4? Oh, okay. I know the Xbox One has it. Uh, it's got the dinosaur park, which looks adorable, and the other one is... Um, like uh, ancient, uh, medieval, I think. I can't remember exactly. It's like it's like you have to go mow Stonehenge. So, all right. Uh, what are we up to? We're up to uh, a profit of seven hundred and sixty-five dollars. So, not too bad. Uh, we can't really buy any uh, advertisement. What advertisement does is it lets you um, build up your reputation points. Uh, you can buy uh, one. Uh, you can buy a social media ad every single day that costs two hundred and fifty dollars a day uh, for a single day, and you get two hundred and ten reputation points. Uh, or you can spend five hundred and you get five days worth of uh, reputation at one hundred and forty per day. So, I don't want to do any of that <laughs> because um, it's um, it's a little it's a little much right at the moment. But later on, when you start getting a decent amount of jobs and you have some extra employees to help out, uh, you, the money starts coming in pretty good. So, oh, 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 nope, 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 let's back out of that. All right, so let's go to our garage and uh, maintain our uh, our machine. 
Six cents to repair the machine. Engine repair not needed. Uh, the blades, oh, nine dollars and seventy-five cents. Now it's starting to get a little pricey. Yeah, let's full repair that. And the petrol, three dollars. Three dollars worth of petrol. Full refill. So yeah, so we spent, uh, what, about ten bucks on that one? So that's why you want to get those bonuses and try to avoid those penalties. Because none of that, of what I just did, eats into our profits. Okay, so let's go back and... Oops. Alright, so now we've gotten a reputation, we've leveled up, now we actually have our choice of jobs. So we can pick a few of these jobs. Now, as you get more employees, you can assign them to the jobs that you don't take, which is nice. Like if I had one employee, it's like I would take one and I would assign one to another. Like um, I would like naturally, what I usually do is I take the most expensive job and then I give my assignment the next the next most expensive job because the uh, employee is not as skilled as you are, and they don't get the same amount of cash. So like, um, even if I had a, even if I had a, an employee who was maxed out and at the highest level that I could train them, I would give them a job like this, the 430, they might come away with like $400. It's a pretty big chunk that they cut away. So when I have like this, it's 480, it's like, I want that sweet, sweet cash. So I'm gonna take that job myself. So, we're going to actually take that job. Alright. And every time you take a job, you have to assign your employee, your machine, and your uh, trimmer. Uh, the completion cut, 99.5%. I think you'll really enjoy it. There's, it, I mean, it's not super in-depth, but there's a lot to it. As your company, well, here, I'm, I'm actually going to back out of this, I'll show you here. Um, your headquarters here, you can upgrade it, and it's like right now, my, oh, you did the tutorials, oh, fantastic. Um, that uh, that kind of gets you a little bit, the one thing I like about the game is it lets you take the machine for a test drive before you buy it. I love that feature, because some of the machines handle kind of weird and it's like I don't want to spend a huge amount of money like if I've been driving a zero turn radius and uh, mower and then I've got another mower that's like um, you know front wheel drive it 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 handles differently and it's like I would like to drive it around and see how it handles first so um, yeah it's it's nice but uh, for instance right here uh, my uh, my building, I only have one bay, so I can only have one, uh, one mower. Um, so if I were to upgrade, it would cost me, uh, 1500 and I would be, it would add me, it would take seven days to finish, and then it would add a bay. I don't really need that until I get an employee, so the first thing you really want to do is get yourself a reputation to the point where you can hire somebody, and then after that, build up your money and then get that. But there's uh, other headquarters that you can buy. Um, on my other file, I actually have gotten all the way up to the Moderna estate, so that it's basically unlimited. And uh, I'm working on the achievement of buying one of every single mower. <laughs> that one's taking a while. <laughs> so, okay. All right, so we got our job all lined up, and we're leaving two on the table. I wish I had some employees, but eh. That's how we're starting out. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, there you go. Dino Safari DLC. It looks cute. It it looks like Jurassic Park with animatronic dinosaurs all over it. I'm just like, I want to mow that. <laughs> I want to be the groundskeeper for that. That looks like fun. The other DLC uh, doesn't look quite as fun. Uh, but this one, it just has that kitschy sort of quality to it, which I think looks a lot of fun. So, but if you like what you're seeing, basically it, the game is what you're seeing, and then later on they give you some management as the head of the uh, as the boss of the company and everything. And and I like that. I like a game that it's not always trying to give you new stuff. I'm here to mow. That's all I want to do. I just want to mow. 
Oh, this is a fun. This is a fun property. Um, uh, even later on, when I become, you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, a big name and everything, oh, already seeing some trash. Uh, even when I get some popularity and get some uh, uh, employees working for me, I still enjoy doing this one. This is this is a fun. Um, this is a fun property. There's a lot of angles. This one could take some time. It recommends 27 minutes. Um, I don't think it'll take that long, but we'll see. Okay, so let's go pick up some of that trash. Saw some stuff. La la la. Oh, well, there's something. Oh, I thought I saw something. Yep, there it is. It's easy, it's really easy to find these objects when you look at from a distance. If something looks out of place, it is. Like that right there. I know I saw a ball somewhere, but there's four. I love the birds chirping. Here in Australia, we have a whole different type of uh, bird life, and um, listening to these birds chirp kind of remind me of uh, a nice, uh, a nice spring day in uh, in the states. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so we did it in less than a minute. All right, so we'll run on back. Okay, um, Brett, if you're still watching, I want to give you a big warning about this. It looks like they have fixed it, but Maybe they haven't. They might have fixed this. Okay. This right here, be very careful when you load up your uh, lawnmower. When you jump off of it, it will sometimes put you on the side and you'll get trapped. And then you have to bail on the job and, and it cancels everything, even if you're done. It looks like they've shimmied it all the way up, so that's not possible. So that might be... Oh, there's someone walking in the background there. Um, but yeah, just be careful. I'll test it out on this one and uh, let you know for certain. But there used to be, the, the trailer here used to be further away from this wall. And there used to be like an overhang. So if you got off of the mower, it, they may have fixed it. I'm, it. It looks like they may have fixed it. All right, so let's start her up. Throttle up. Oops, I didn't mean to engage the head. Right, let's move the camera just up a little bit. Rotate it a bit. wrong height. I thought there was something I forgot to do. Uh, what do we need? 5.5 5 to 6.5. Okay, so we'll set it at 6. And that's, that's another thing. Some of your mowers do not have the ability to give you exactly the height that you need. So sometimes you just have to get within the range. But that first section that I just mowed, I'll have to mow it again, because it's not right. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to do that. It's like, it's like I've got all these checklists and everything that I need to do, and I just totally forgot all of that. So I'm actually going to, so I don't forget about it, I'm just going to go back here and hit this section again because this section is not right. And it happens. You don't really get a penalty for that as long as you go back and fix it. Now that I'm mowing at the correct height, now it's a different matter. Okay, so I've done this section, but this section's kind of roped off on its own, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this area and then I don't have to keep coming back and winding through. Sometimes you'll run into that and, you know, you do, 
the biggest thing about this is some of these properties are very oddly shaped. You just have to find your own your own patterns, your own way of dealing with everything. But fortunately, this game gives you that freedom. It don't care how the grass gets mowed, just as long as the grass gets mowed. Sometimes you'll get on these things that are obviously not level with the other ground, like this patio. There's just a little bit of a raise, and you'll feel it. So I always try to get as much as possible. But running over it and everything, you don't really get any kind of penalties. You just got to be careful. Make sure you get as close to the edge as you possibly can. Yeah, see, there's just a little bit on the uh, side over there make one lap, one more loop around just to make sure that I got everything. And now this section's done and I don't have to come back and worry about it. We can just mow on through the straightaway here. Alright, back to the edge. On these early ones, um, the uh, flower patches give you, oh, 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 I destroyed the penalty, uh, flower penalty incurred. <laughs> I was actually just about to say how these uh, early on matches, or matches, Jesus, uh, jobs, there's this nice little buffer zone between the grass and the flowers. Later on in the game, you don't really, oh, <laughs> boy, I'm just, <laughs> sometimes those bushes get in the way. But sometimes you don't really have a lot of wiggle room, so you got to be careful. As I've already hit two flowers. So let's keep track of that. we got two flowers that we've run over. But uh, on some of these flower beds, you got this nice little buffer zone where, that, that gives you that nice bit of uh, space. But others, like you just saw, not quite so much space to deal with. So you just... Always just kind of take it slow. You got plenty of time. And even if you go long on the time, you won't end up with a whole lot. Honestly, I've found that hitting objects tends to get more uh, penalty than uh, running over a flower or two. But we'll keep track, and then at the end of this one, we'll see what actually happens. But as you can see, there's that, you know, there's quite a bit of space. But just take it at the speed that you can handle. I feel like I'm Bob Ross. <laughs> just take it at the speed that you can handle. And always make sure that our uh, mowing grass is happy grass. Sometimes you'll find a happy little bush. You don't want to run over that happy little bush. Let that happy little bush be a happy little bush. There are no mistakes, only opportunities. But as you can see, there's a lot of curves. This one's this one's fun. Sometimes you get these jobs where it's just square, and it's like, ah, oh, it's so boring. Let me hire an employee to do that for me. But this one, it's with all the curves and everything. It, it seems like the more difficult the job, the more. Uh, the less fun it is, and I'm just like, nah, not in this game. In this game, having that little winding around and everything, and, and then when the uh, patch gets thinner and thinner and thinner as you go around in circles, you start getting some weird shapes, and it's like, what's the best way of tackling this? And, uh, yeah, it's like, it, what's the most efficient way of getting this last little weird bit picked up? All right, so now we have made one official revolution. So now we don't have to be so careful. Let's throttle it up and hit the gas. Start making some time.
when I first started this game, one of the things I was always doing was I was trying to maximize my mower deck. And what I mean by that is, like, I was trying to drive right on the edge um, of, of, like, what I'm doing right here. Like, where I had already mowed, I was trying to hit the exact edge. And what I was finding was, was when I would go back, I would be leaving strips of grass because I thought that I was overlapping when I wasn't. So, I just overlap as much as I can. I'm not so worried about it. As long as it's, you know, 50% or better, gets the job done, and then you don't have to go back. Because at the end, that's one of the worst things to do is, at the end of the job, having to go back and find every little bit that you missed the first time through. Sometimes the edging can be kind of tricky, but yeah. It's a great, it's a great um, game to just let your brain turn off. It's not difficult, you just, you know, you can let your thoughts kind of go. You know, just kind of reset the breaker boxes in your mind. I don't want to say it's zen, because I, I think people who say it's very zen, just, I don't think they know what they're talking about. And I don't know what I'm talking about when I say zen, and I don't want that to be like a hip buzzword. I just think this game is really good, um, mental health wise. You may not do the job 100% the best, but as long as you finish the job and don't do too much damage, you'll be fine. It's, it's, it's not one of those games where it's like, you failed, start again. That's what you want. You go play Dark Souls or Elden Ring or something like that. I'm mowing the lawn, and it's really not more complicated than that. Uh, there are sometimes the weather does come into play. Uh, sometimes you have to mow on a rainy day, and that sucks. Because the ground is soft, it's easier to damage the uh, damage the ground. Uh, your uh, mower has trouble with the uh, the wet grass clippings. I'm gonna actually cut this because this this corner is getting uh, real hard to take care of. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little extra here. Kind of pick this up and get this out of the out of the main drag, and then edge back in, and off we go. Sometimes these corners are a little uh, harsh, just as long as you're still picking up grass as you turn into them, a little bit, a lot, it all, it all gets you closer to that uh, final percentage. Um, so what's our time that we have to do? 27.30, so half of that is uh, 13. 13 or so. So a little past the 13 mark, if we're not at 50%, then we're kind of falling behind. But this one's a little trickier. So this one we may not get a good time bonus on, but that's okay. We've been doing fine. This is also a big job. But that's usually how I judge 
the job and how well I'm doing. If I hit 50% by the halfway mark of what they expect the time to be, uh, then then you're doing all right. And if you don't get a time bonus, you don't get a time bonus. Going long, I don't think you get a time penalty. Yeah, before we hit the 14 minute mark, we should hit 50%, and I don't think we're going to make that mark. Oh well. <laughs> when we get done, we'll just take a look at the results and see what happens. How much how much progress I can make in this last minute. Square that up a little bit or <laughs> smooth that out I should say. But again I'm not using my mowing deck uh, to the best of its abilities. You know, I might be doing maybe 50% at most. Right there, it's about probably close to 90%. But you know, it's just I'd rather I'd rather overlap a lot than uh, have to go back. Actually, I take that back. We might actually no. I don't think we're going to hit 50% in the next few seconds. We're close though, so we're not that far off. get the uh, edging on that one on my next pass. Yeah, more or less, that's 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 just how I estimate the, the finishing time. When I hit 50%, you know, just double it, whatever your time is, and that'll tell you, you know, about where you're at. It's not usually that accurate, but it just kind of gives you a ballpark idea. because you've got those rocks and I still screwed it up. you got the, uh, the bricks that give you that nice little buffer zone for you to kind of aim for. But I still screwed it up and left some. We're going to easy turn around like that. When you make those really sharp turns, just be careful. It, the game will give you just a little bit of time to turn before you start uh, spinning your wheels and damaging the lawn. Sometimes it's better to back up and instead of turning in a in a in a donut. And 
at sometimes just backing over it was just like that. Sometimes that's the better move. But you can see how it'll leave tire tracks. So, yeah. Just gotta be careful sometimes when you're making sharp turns. Sometimes that's because there's a slope. Sometimes it's just because, uh, you know, you're trying to go uphill or downhill. Several reasons why your engine is having trouble. Uh, most of the time it's the grass is wet or the grass is too thick. So, uh, the, some jobs you'll be doing where you have to go through and you have to mow a section a couple of times. disconnected these two sections of grass and it makes sense in my mind I don't know if it does to you I'm just going to stay and finish this plot that I'm on right now instead of crossing over the sidewalk to the other side and continuing the loop alright 75% officially section down. Sometimes getting these odd-shaped properties, you get these little pieces that are like this, and it's like, eh, I'll stop, turn around. It's like the brain wants to just continuously cut grass, but there's points where you just can't cut the grass. You have to move the mower to go back to cut the grass. See that little, that little tiny piece. It's amazing how little uh, those little pieces can add up when you're when you think that you're uh, you've got a hundred percent of it done. Oh, penalty! Damage the ground. I turned too fast. It does not take a lot sometimes.
Bucks. Alright, up to 85%. We're getting there. 99.5 is what we're looking for. Could have just continued turning in a circle, but now that I know I've already damaged the ground, it is susceptible to that. So sometimes it's just better to back up and take a take a second uh, pass to uh, drive past the circle and just come at it from another side. Not too bad, a little clump of grass right there. And then back into the main parts. Need 5% more and we can leave. And we actually have a lot of grass still to do. So I, I don't think we're going to run into any trouble with, you know, having to get that last one tenth. Sometimes it's surprising how much grass can be left over and it still counts for uh, a completed job. Some of the some of the big jobs later on in the game, um, I'll I'll be like I, I can't believe how much is still left. Um, there'll be like a whole you know, plot, and I'm like, are you sure that I won't get a penalty for this? And as far as I know, I you don't really get them. But I think that's because I do such a good job of the edging. I get so close to the flowers, that's where they're expecting you to not get. Going counterclockwise for this one. I don't know why. Just felt like the, the better angle to take. And we're done. But look how much is still left over. All of this, and there's still some on the other side. I don't have to. Did I finish it? Oh my god, I did it 35 seconds th with 35 seconds left to go. But yeah, I had all that and this little bit right here. Alright, so pick up my mowing deck.
Okay, so we had two flower penalties and one ground penalty, but I didn't bash into anything, so that's always good. They must have fixed that because this one was, they, uh, as far, if I remember right, this is the property where they had an overhang on this house and they had like these two little uh, posts that were holding up support beams. And sometimes when you got off of this thing, you would be too close and it would put you over there and you couldn't jump. So you couldn't get out of there. So yeah, I think that, I think they fixed that. All right. Time to leave. Ah, oh, such a lovely, lovely sound with the chirpy birds and everything. Oh, look at this beautiful lawn. We did that. We did that. That's our, that's our doing. That lawn did not look like that when we got here. But you can see the little tire marks when you make those turns and everything. So it's like, those are the tire marks that are acceptable. Oh, a little clump of grass I see that I missed, but that's okay. I got the percentage done and the job is finished. Let's see how well we did. Okay, so we were supposed to get 460, we actually got 485, so we got $25.93 better. Uh, penalties and fines, the collision, we had a collision, 25 cents, the ground damage was six, and the flowers destroyed two, so basically a dollar per flower. Uh, incorrect hut, uh, cut height penalty, I got three cents off of that one. <laughs> it adds up. I went back and did it a second time, but I still got the penalty. But that contract looks like it got us uh, leveled up. We are newcomer rank three. Very nice. Okay, up in the corner, you can see the weather. So today is gonna be a rainy day. Rainy days suck. Well, we might as well do the most expensive one. What are we up to? We have uh, $1,238. Very nice. Uh, we'll set my employee as me. I'm an employee. I'm a. I'm an employee of one. Uh, let's see, 13 to 17. Oh, that's the current grass range. It needed to be between six and seven. Okay. 27 minutes for this one. Yeah, I'll do this one and this will be the last yard that I do. So let's confirm that contract. But before we go, let's uh, do some maintenance on our machine because uh, we used over half a tank of gas on that last job. So let's uh, do a full repair. Only cost me five cents. Sharpen the blades. 518. You do not want your blades getting dull. Uh, I think that kind of goes without saying, but the more dull the blades, the worse they're going to cut. And we'll fill up the gas. 343. Not too bad. Lamb sod. <laughs> I do enjoy that name. Might as well make a grass pun while you can. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look. Um... Uh, okay, so this is the next mower up. This is what we got. This one costs thirty-four ninety-nine, but our but our vehicle will give us uh, twenty-three eighty-five. So thirty thirty-five. So we'll have thirty-five hundred. So yeah, we can buy this mower, but what's the what's the benefit? 
This mower has an 80, uh, a 98 centimeter de uh, mowing deck. That means that's how you can you can do 98 centimeters in a pass. This one has 108, so it's better, but not that much. Uh, it's got a top speed of 6.1. With ours has a top speed of 4.3, so it's definitely faster. 10 horsepower versus 19 horsepower. However, I would rather. I would rather wait until we can get some of these zero turn radius mowers because these things really rip things up really nicely. I know this one costs 9000 but uh, oh my god, this Toro is a great, uh, is a great one until you can start getting these, um, until you can start getting the mowers like this. 132 centimeters, that, that's a crazy amount of mowing in one swipe. Uh, the biggest, the biggest mower is actually this one, 182. Look at that monster. But this one's not a zero turn radius, so uh, it can be, uh, it can be a little tricky. This is, uh, this one's actually one of my favorite mowers, uh, the Turf Tiger. It's a zero turn radius, and when I say zero turn radius, it literally means sitting in a in in, in a spot you can just turn. You you don't even have to be rolling to turn. So it's not like you have to you know do like a K turn back up and everything. This one you turn, zip, go, zip, zip. It's amazing. But that one costs fourteen thousand, <laughs> and you can't do small jobs with it because the mowing deck is so big. So. Yeah, I would like to wait until I get until I can get this one. This 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 will give us a nice uh, deck upgrade. It's a zero turn, uh, top speed a lot faster. So yeah, instead of going up one at a time, I'd rather just give it a little bit uh, a, a little bit of patience and then trade in our mower for this one because this one's this one's a pretty good upgrade from what we already have. Okay, uh, let's go back. Okay, so the job we're doing is 430, $430. So let's jump in, we'll do this, we'll do this job, and this will probably be the last one for this evening. Loading times remind me of when I used to have my Commodore 64. <laughs> no, they're not that. They're not that bad. But sometimes they can take a bit of time. But it's nice that they have that little uh, progress bar, uh, progress bar underneath the loading uh, spinning blade. Okay, so it is raining. That means the ground is wet, so we're going to run into some problems. So this, we may not be able to get done in the 27 minutes that it requires. Oops. All right, so we got three objects. Oh, we got to get the lawn gnome. Oh, there's something right there. Another lawn gnome. Oh. oh, there we go. Ooh, they have a greenhouse. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Propagating some nice flowers in there. Nice ragweed. Okay. Oh, yep. See, there, there is some life in this world. <laughs> hey, baby, I'm pretty tall. <laughs> Does anybody want to see my unit? <laughs> Sorry, Beavis and Butthead. All right. Let's start your engines, throttle them up.
Now this one, this one's got a wall, and the walls can be really tricky to get up to. You want to be real careful because you can bang off of those little jut, uh, those little bits that are jutting out. Sometimes when you're up against the wall, with the, you, some of these turning radiuses don't want to let you turn. So you gotta be real careful, because then, then you get like collision penalties and everything. So yeah. Like that, I just missed a whole section. Because I wasn't close enough to it. Again, just don't go any faster than you need to, you'll get through it. Up, 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 see, it wouldn't let me turn. <laughs> and I ended up taking out a couple flowers. That's a couple bucks. That's a bad one. But once you get the wall done, then you're done with it. And if you feel like using the edger, it might be a better idea. But there's a lot of wall. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drive straight up and back up. Now turn. Ah. Camera doesn't like the wall. collided into, but it didn't like it. I still don't know what I hit. So, yeah, we're going to get some penalties for this job. And we haven't even made our first pass. Oh, 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 oh. The uh, horsepower definitely jumped out there. I wasn't even holding down the throttle that hard. Destroyed a flower. I was nowhere near the damn thing. See, I'm starting to have flashbacks now. I'm remembering this was this was the first real pain in the ass job that I came across the last time. I re I'm remembering this now. If this job sucks because it's it's the it's the first rainy day. It's the first thing. There's a lot of firsts in this one. A lot of walls. A lot of really tight corners. There's a lot that can go wrong in this one. And they, um, they, they basically, they've taken it easy on you up until this point. So the kid gloves have been removed. <laughs> now when it's raining, the biggest, the biggest mistake you can do is try to go too fast. Make sure that your speed doesn't, your uh, um, speedometer doesn't go into the red. And if it does, you're just going to have to go back and do it again. Because when your engine bogs down, um, you're not uh, you're not cutting 
uh, proficiently, and you may have to go back and hit that section a second time. Usually what happens is if, if you're playing on like the consoles, your controller will really start rumbling when you start getting into some rough areas. So you get a little bit of a warning that um, you should slow down a little bit as you pass through. That pass went a little bit faster. one of these uh, jobs later on where you're in an orchard, uh, an apple orchard, and uh, oh my god, all those damn trees screwing with the camera. It's a real pain in the ass. Because I'd like to have the camera in this angle. It gives you a good vantage point. You can see what's coming up, but you also get a good look at, you know, where you're mowing. And when the trees start pumping the camera around, it's, it's just... Uh, oh, there, 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 overloading the engine. So we're going to back up and hit that section again. So that's what you got to watch out for. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it creeps up on you, sometimes it happens really fast. A lot of it depends on your uh, equipment. If you got something that's got the horsepower to handle it, you should be fine. But this this mower's got the uh, low horsepower, so it gets bogged down a lot easier because of that. Now, in real life, when my mower gets bogged down, I will oh 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 there it is again overloaded. When my mower gets bogged down, usually what I do is I'll take a half pass instead of going through the section um, with 100% of the mower deck. I'll take half of the pass so that it's only dealing with half of the uh, half of the grass at a, uh, at a time. Sometimes that helps a lot in real life, but I haven't noticed that that helps here. It's, it's, it's kind of like the game only acknowledges grass is grass, if, if that makes sense. Like, you're either mowing or you're not. Uh, it's like the game doesn't recognize that you're only doing, like, 50% as opposed to 100% of your mowing death. I could be wrong, though. I just feel like it doesn't tend to acknowledge that. section is kind of nitpicky.
Oh my god, look at all that that I have left behind. perfectionist in me that sees those little dots so early on and has to do it. That's why I don't look at that uh, very often. I try not to use that until I get towards the end. Because when I see how much I've left behind, it's like I want to go back and pick it up and it may not be necessary. Eleven twenty-eight. Hey, we're still ahead of the game because our recommended finish time is twenty-seven minutes, and we're at the fifty percent mark at eleven twenty-eight. So we we might still finish early. We just have to not get antsy about it. With the penalties that we've gotten with this one, it would be nice to <laughs> get a time bonus. Sometimes the mower feels like it's not getting traction, so you want to you feel like you want to give it just a little bit more gas, and then all of a sudden you're charging through, and yeah, and suddenly your mower feels like it's just gone out of control. And on rainy days, that that happens a lot easier. dog barking off in the distance. What is it, boy? Timmy fall down the well again? Do you need a Scooby snack? Should I go on a murderous rampage? Because it's so hot in L.A.? And it's the 70s? I'm just going to back up because i got a little bit of an engine fog.
think this is the last major obstacle, and it is a tight turn. So just take it slow. You have to do a second pass. Don't be afraid to do that. need that extra, you know, tiny of a tiny percentage, then I'll go back and get that one. But I'm pretty sure I've got it. Sometimes it's hard to tell if your tire mark is leftover grass or not. That's why it's, it's nice to have that uh, highlight ability. Oh no, I still got a flower patch over here. sidewalk here. for 99.5. Sometimes on these rainy days, uh, when you get towards the end, uh, where the tall grass is and where it, uh, the, where you mow, sometimes gets a little tricky depending on the uh, angle that you're driving towards.
What am I missing? I know there's like, ah, there it is. I was like, I know there's a section that I uh, islanded off. I don't even know if that's terminology. It's a little section where I had a fleet of it. I just need two tenths of a percent, and the job is done. What I like about it is, when the job is completed, the timer stops. Alright, so 22.34. So I still had uh, 4 minutes. 4 minutes and 26 seconds. Oh. Turn off the mower and raise the deck. I don't think that makes any difference, but if you don't have to use the mower deck, then don't use the mower deck. Alright, well that wasn't too terrible for my first rainy day mowing. Throttle oh, down. And away we go. A little bit on that one, but that was a tight circle. <laughs> Zero turn radius uh, mower would have been able to handle that a little bit better. Just zip, 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 zip all the way around. All right. Well, how did we do? We had some penalties, but I think our time bonus may have covered that. Okay. So we had, wow, we had $13.27 worth of penalties, $6 worth of flowers, and $7.25 of collisions. Yikes. Uh, but our ground check time and cutting time bonus covered it. So we also got the ground check earnings for $25. So we still made... Uh, Twenty-six dollars more than the job uh, uh, than the job was uh, for. So we still uh, turned. We we didn't lose anything, and we gained more than we expected to. So very nice. And we moved up to newcomer rank four. All right. So let's go in and take a look at our machine. Uh, we didn't quite use half a tank of gas on that job, so... Alright. Uh, doesn't need any repair. Oh, yes it does. I was looking at the wrong thing. $1.19. Engine repair, $0.79. Cents. Blade, $6.84. And petrol fill, $2.87. Now our mower is ready to go for the next job. What are we up to? $1,648. Uh, let's see, can we... 23, that'll put us up to 39, 4, that'll, that'll put us up to 4,000. Nope, we still need uh, $1,100 more to get this beauty. But we'll get it. Alright. Well, not a bad start. But uh, I think uh, I think we're gonna call it at this point. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good um, beginning for our mowing uh, job. We're gonna switch over here to the uh, the focus here. Alrighty, well uh, that's gonna do it for another broadcast. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this one. Uh, I'm surprised that I got a couple of followers for mowing the yard. <laughs> but a, a special shout out to uh, G Boy 1836 and. Uh, 0203 Brett, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for uh, being my latest followers. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll see those uh, new names around. Uh, another shout out to R Signs 90, uh, good fan uh, and good friend. 
I'm going to go ahead and say. Good friend of the show. Uh, glad to see you. Uh, sorry that your internet wasn't working as uh, well as uh, necessary to hang out. But there's always next time. We'll get you. Uh, I'm definitely not done uh, broadcasting uh, at the moment. So, um, since I didn't do it at the beginning, we'll do a, a quick little shameless promo. Uh, Sugar Pants Video Basement. Uh, the new video is up. Joysticks. It is a trashy, sleazy... It's a movie that I feel has a certain smell. Like, if we ever got to the world... If we ever got into the, uh, the world where um, a movie just by watching it, created a smell. Like, let's say your TV created a smell based on what you're watching. Like, if you were watching a cooking show, naturally you would smell the what they're cooking, you know, like like the, the sizzling beef or, and the fajitas and whatever's smelling, the spices and the herbs. And it would be a very pleasant experience. Whereas, if you watched a movie like Joysticks, I feel like the TV would make it smell like body odor and shame. <laughs> And you all know what I'm talking about. If you've made it to your mid-twenties and you don't know what I mean by body odor and shame... I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting at. But this, there's a character in this movie, Joysticks. He's actually in the poster right there. It's the dude in the bottom. That's not just some random artist drawing of a pervert. That's one of our heroes. He has to smell terrible. He is wearing this greasy nasty stained shirt and an overshirt on top of it. I don't know. He's so gross and he's one of our he's one of our heroes. He's one of the guys that we're actually rooting for. I don't know. I feel I feel sorry for the poor women who had to rub up against this nasty greasy grease ball. <laughs> but the movie is funny. It's stupid. And it's just the perfect type of movie for Sugar Pants Video Basement. So please check it out uh, and uh, in, enjoy it. Watch some of the other movies as well. Even if it's a movie that you don't think you're going to like, spend 20 minutes watching it with me, and then you don't have to watch it in real life. You'll get all the details. That's kind of the point. But if you watch one of my uh, videos and you feel like you want to watch the full experience, more power to you. That's that's also the point there. It's, it's literally introducing people to movies that maybe they would not have seen uh, if, if a stupid clown wouldn't shriek in their face telling them, watch this movie. <laughs> so that uh, is going to uh, do it for this broadcast. Again, it is uh, the 4th of May, so may the 4th be with you, regardless if it's the start of the day for you or the end of the day for you. For me, it's getting close to the end of the day. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'll do some more lawn mowing uh, in the uh, virtual world, uh, but we'll see. Uh, tomorrow, I have my uh, second shift at my uh, new job. And uh, we'll just have to see how I feel afterwards. Uh, the more shifts I do, the better I, I get uh, physically towards uh, be what, it's, what, what, what I need to do for the job. And I'm getting in be uh, you know, better shape for what I need to do. But um, I'm not exactly sure uh, what tomorrow's shift is going to be because I'm still kind of learning the ropes. And I don't know if they're going to show anything new or, or if they're just going to turn me loose and just see what I can do. I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, we will catch you, uh, next time, whenever that is. Um, I don't think there's anything else going on. No, there isn't. So, all right, that will do it again. So, uh, everybody have a great rest of the day and we will, kiss, uh, yeah. I do this every single time. You'd think I'd be able to do it without screwing it up. Let's try it one more time. So until I greet you again, uh, this is your old pal. No, I almost did the sugar pants exit. <laughs> Come on, brain. Let's get through this. We'll see you next time.